Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog hockey with us, head coach Bob Daniels. And coach, welcome to the show. Great being here, Rob. Obviously nice to be uh, at home again for the second straight weekend and uh, took on a very good opponent, Canisius, led by a, a former Bulldog this past weekend. Yeah, um, Trevor Large, uh, coach of Canisius, great guy. Um, played for us 2000 to 2004. Uh, married a woman by the name of Molly who played basketball for us. She was obviously the true athlete in the family, but Trevor's a great coach and Ed has done an outstanding job with Canisius. What's it like uh, taking on a, a former uh, player of yours uh, who's now in a head coaching role, uh, someone that probably knows uh, you and your, your staff very well? Yeah, it was great. It, I, I really enjoy that. I, I enjoy sitting down with them before the weekend series. And, and uh, he came by, had a cup of coffee with us in the locker room. We got to show off the locker room to him. But um, and it's just good to uh, talk hockey. You know, and it, it's good to see one of your past players that's in the profession. Um, he's really a, been a long time, though, supporter of Ferris hockey. He comes back every year to the golf outings. Um, both him and Molly are died in the bull bulldogs. So uh, I enjoy it. I do. Once the puck drops, you, you're not thinking about that. But, you know, leading up to it, it's just great to connect. After the game, it's, it's an easy handshake, easy person to talk to. So i uh, very proud of the work he's done there. As we go to some of the highlights, we'll start with Friday's game. And, uh, Obviously, uh, Canisius came in uh, an older and uh, a very experienced type of team. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're good and they're well coached. And we, we had a couple good looks early where we hit the pipe a minute ago and, and we had some good chances. I think it would have been a different game if we just scored first. But, you know, they get the first goal here. Uh, and then from there, it felt like we were just chasing the game the entire night. Um, had we scored on a couple of our earlier chances, it could have been a completely different game. We'll see over the course of these highlights, uh, you mentioned that they uh, took the early lead and a couple of different times had a, a couple goal lead, but your kids uh, continued to fight back and continued to make it a game. Yeah, we did. And, and the, the second goal they get here, it's a, a blown face off the line. We, we didn't line correctly to start. And we had two goals that they score in this game uh, due to face off alignment. So we, we talked about that going into Saturday's game. But I do give our guys a lot of credit because they, they kept battling. They, that's one thing. This team will always battle right to the end. I, I have no, no worries about that. Obviously, uh, here early in the second period, they take a 3-1 to one lead. But again, uh, you're able to cut it back uh, to 3-2 to two with the goal right here to answer. Yeah, Luke Farthing scores on a really nice play by uh, Branchow and Merrick uh, on a 4-4 four four situation. We did find uh, a, a little bit of a weakness at times in their defensive zone coverage. We tried to exploit that over the weekend by going behind the net, getting their defenseman uh, turned, and then bringing it back out front. We score another goal by doing that here. It's just, you know, a, they have a unique defensive zone coverage, but if uh, if you get it behind the net, there's some, some opportunities there. Obviously, uh, you cut it to 4-3 to three here and uh, end up pulling the, the goalie. Uh, they get the empty net goal uh, here at the end to make it a 5-3 final. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and, and I, you know, at that point, you're, we, we'd had momentum in their end of the rink. We pulled the goalie in order to get the equalizer. But at that point, you know, it's kind of a Hail Mary thing. Um, but nevertheless, we kept digging in. We kept working. And uh, I think we pulled the goalie after that even um, because there was still like a minute 40 to go. We were hoping, you know, we could get two right at the end. Obviously, uh, you came back uh, the following night on Saturday, uh, made a change uh, in net, but any other uh, changes maybe going into that Saturday matchup from uh, what you saw on Friday? Yeah, um, you know, in, in terms of structure, we, we, we had some personnel changes, but in terms of structure, our, you know, we, we really wanted to tighten up in our defensive zone face-offs, and, and we did that mission accomplished. This uh, one of those weekends where uh, both teams are uh, pretty even uh, overall on, on the course of the weekend in terms of total shots and opportunities. Yeah, right on. I thought Noah had a strong game, particularly early on. We took a five-minute major to start the game. Um, here's uh, uh, Mitch Dielstra's first goal of the year. Really good offensive zone, low play. Great great job by, uh, by Mitch to score that goal. But we took a five-minute major and we killed it off. But, you know, Noah had to be sharp early on, uh, you know, while we were trying to build the lead here, we score a power play goal midway through or part way into the second uh, to take a 2-0 lead. And now it's a totally different game than the night before. We've got a 2-0 lead, and they're chasing the game the rest of the night. Obviously, uh, here in the second period, we'll see uh, you get another uh, goal or two coming up uh, here shortly. This is a, a good opportunity as well. Yeah, we had a couple breakaways that we, we didn't finish up on. Maybe that's uh, in the bank. Here, uh, Matt Slick, uh, fifth-year transfer, uh, scores his first uh, goal as a Bulldog, puts us up 3-0. And then late, we go vertical in the neutral zone. Uh, 
Corny makes a, just a terrific play uh, in order to put us up uh, four and out there going into the third. And I was really happy with our third period. Outside of the goal we gave up, I thought we kept playing hard. We knew they were going to put a big push on in the third. And, and we've, you know, we've had some big leads uh, the last few years where we let that window uh, dwindle down, but it, that didn't happen in this game. Can you talk about the play of Noah Nutt here, uh, especially in the third period, uh, came up with some big saves for you. He did, he did, and, but yet we're still pressing too. You can see we've got some, you know, we're trying to add to that lead. Um, we do turn a puck over here and they get the only goal. And that, you know, you hate to see that because we wanted Noah to get the shutout. Um, we're really lucky though, uh, Rob, in that we've got two goaltenders that are, are, we can play and we have complete confidence of Logan Stein and Noah. They, you know, they both have had great performances early in the year. Noah's performance could have easily been goalie of the week as well. He didn't get it, but he, it could have been. Um, so we're, we're very fortunate to have two good goaltenders, in which our team has complete faith in. Obviously, after uh, three straight weekends of, of action uh, here to start the year, you get a, a week off here. Maybe uh, talk about how you handle this week before you get into the kind of the start of CCHA play. Sure. Well, we're first starting to see some of the bumps and bruises that come along with, with the season. And uh, we're, we're, fortunately, we're not too bad. Um, but this is probably a good time to get a break. We gave the guys optional skate uh, on Monday. And uh, Tuesday will be more of a conditioning type day. Wednesday, it'll be a heavy, you know, heavy grind day. And then Thursday, a special teams Friday was, uh, we'll scrimmage. Um, the key, you know, we, we, we'll work on some things. Wednesday, we'll dig in pretty deep and, and work, you know, some defensive zone coverage, some back checking. That'll, that'll be a meat and potatoes type day. Um, but more than anything, we'll, we'll only have one day like that and try to allow the, uh, the injuries that we do have, heal, let them heal up. Obviously, you come back uh, next week uh, hosting St. Thomas, a team that's uh, now in its second season uh, here in uh, CCHA in Division One college hockey. Yeah, and they've come a long way in a hurry. Rico Blasi's done a terrific job as coach of the team. Um, they're going to be a team to be reckoned with uh, when they really get you know, to, to a point where they'll, they can challenge for, for the league title remains to be seen, but I think it'll be fairly quickly under a coach like Rico. Um, and, and so we had, uh, we played them four times last year and had some great battles with them. I would imagine this weekend uh, when we have them, it'll be more of the same. Obviously, uh, nice to kind of start the season uh, with so many home games uh, here in the month of October. Yeah, it's good and bad. You know, you know that eventually you got, we're going to have to go on the road. And we've got three really long trips uh, between now and, and semester break. We've got a, a long trip to Bemidji. Then we go to um, Mankato and then the, the Twin Cities. So all three to the state of Minnesota. And, but the, that, the good news is by the time we hit uh, the second half of the season, all our long trips will be uh, in the rear view mirror. Well, Coach, thanks uh, for the time. Congrats on the win on Saturday. And uh, best of luck uh, here as you get ready to face St. Thomas in a couple weeks. Oh, thank you, Rob. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.